Hello. Hello. Thank you for this warm welcome. Um, as you said, I'm Armel André. I'm a data science manager at Brand Portfolio Management Team and co-founder of Ubisoft Greenforce uh, Club. And we're going to discuss how companies um, can work together to combat climate change. So, um, like I said, I'm Armel André and my co-host is Nicolas Ensinger. Nicolas is Director of Corporate Environmental Sustainability at Ubisoft. So, uh, how did it all start? It? Basically, it started back in February, uh, sorry, December 2018, when we realized that we were a few employees sharing the same mindset in our private life with uh, this need to transition to a more green um, way of living. And basically, uh, we, we were numerous enough to support each other and give each other advices. At that time, we were about 30 to 50 employees and we called each other the Econo Anonym, which stands for Green Anonymous. A few months later, six months, oh, sorry, and our main focus was um, having a sustainable way of life in our private life. So how to go uh, zero waste, how to go no plastic, that was our main focus. Six months later, in June 19, without any advertisement internally, we reached the number of 100 employees and we started deciding to organize ourselves. So we called each other the Green Force. As you see, we're super motivated. And we decided, we built a super logo. We decided to structure as a club in Ubisoft and benefited from internal tools like um, a mailing list, a team space, a SharePoint. We also had uh, the authorization to host gatherings uh, during lunch breaks in the office. And at that time, we decided to change slightly our scope. Rather than talking only about our private lives, we decided that we could go bigger and think about changing things internally at Ubisoft because it didn't make sense to do things perfectly at home and do nothing in the office or not enough in the office. So um, in a few words, our creed. First, it is a positive and um, yeah, positive approach and really solutions oriented, solution focused. We don't want to be the bad guys complaining about everything. We wanted to be uh, able to identify problems and offer solutions and really offer our support to make things change. Sorry. So um, our uh, the things we change, our actions. First, we're a diversified internal teams of experts in many different domains. But we had this uh, culture of sustainable development and we decided to organize ourselves into um, into tax forces and work based on starting with brainstorms on different things we could change at Ubisoft. So for instance, there was a task force about building video games, another one taking care of about IT uh, question, another one taking care of the travel policy, for instance, so many different um, options. And then Proactively, we went and met the people, the, the stakeholders internally that were able to make things change. So for instance, we worked on reducing the single use material. Every day in the office, we were using hundreds of paper cups to drink our coffee. And we convinced the workplace to uh, workplace uh, services to replace them with a sustainable solution. And that solution could not be made of plastic. So we opted for ceramic mugs and we wanted that ceramic mugs to be produced locally. Uh, we also convinced them to go for uh, new coffee machines that were delivering, that are delivering free and organic coffee. It enabled to get rid of individual coffee machines working with a lot of aluminum capsules. And here is, for instance, the communication we uh, provided around these new marks. 
We also worked on uh, waste elimination because uh, we were sorting waste, but we wanted to make sure it was properly sorted, but also recycled. And we went even further at the initial request, and we asked for glass and organic waste to be also recycled. And uh, another point uh, we worked on is uh, saving energy. Uh, the um, game developers have machines that are taking long minutes every day to start. So th it was out of the question for them to start stop them at nights or during weekends. So we have been starting on working on how can they start the machines in the morning before reaching the office to not to be uh, bothered by the starting time. And the last thing I wanted to show you, uh, Trinder. Trinder is a mini game we, we developed internally with people not working on video games productions. Uh, Trinder is a pun between Tinder, the dating app, and Tree, which means sorting waste in the office. And basically, we use that um, mini game to learn sorting rules uh, to our coworkers because the rules are different in the office or at home. Other um, actions we took is, of course, raising awareness in the office about sustainable development. And for that, we're editing an internal newsletter we, where we share good practice. And I can give you here the example of the French subsidiary who made super effort for the Paris Game Week booth in, I think it was in 2019, where they decided to uh, think about their habits and change it totally and 80 percent of the booth material here were reused uh, they worked with a certified uh, booth provider they reduced goodies they reduced t-shirts they also re uh, got rid of uh, plastic bottles so that was really a super example to share with other teams to inspire them we also uh, on our benevolent time organized Green Days, that was two weeks of activations in France, where we animated uh, Climate Fresque workshops. Climate Fresque is a workshop, three hours workshop, where you learn the causes and the consequence of global warming. This is really super interesting. I totally recommend it. Uh, we also organized bike repairs, do-it-yourself workshops. Overall, the entire event um, raised uh, has been uh, seen by about 1,000 viewers, so way beyond the Green Force Club only. Satisfaction rate was very high, so it was a great uh, first uh, time event. Uh, today, the Green Force is made of about 450 members. Our biggest success is to uh, have made sustainable options visible and made everyone aware that it is attractive to offer sustainable solutions. It's not a problem for employees to sort the waste or use a um, ceramic mug for their coffee. They like it and they want more. And then the thing is that uh, we need scaling solutions because it's great to do something like that in France, but we want to think global. We don't want to stay at the country level. And this is where our longtime Green Force member, Nicholas, enters into the picture. Thank you, Armel. So um, a year ago, uh, we launched a Ubisoft Sustainability Strategy Play Green to scale these initiatives described by Armel and much more. So Play Green has two pillars. The first priority is to decarbonize our direct operations by switching to electricity from renewable sources, reducing our consumption, and improving our energy efficiency. The second pillar is to accelerate our efforts to raise awareness among all our stakeholders, players, in-house teams, and industry partners, and encourage them to take positive action on protecting the climate and the environment. To do that, we've put together a global action plan drawing on expertise across a broad spectrum of specialties that you can see here uh, on the slide. Reducing our environmental impact is a huge and complex challenge that requires collective thinking and collective action. And we need everyone at every level of the organization on board, especially employees. So 
here we say it, every job must be a climate job. Employees hold tremendous power. They are instrumental, instrumental to how a company functions and innovates. Employee engagement on the all-encompassing climate crisis just doesn't sound good. It will actually help the company, Ubisoft, your company, in a rapidly changing world. Ubisoft has now a dozen of green committees formed out local initiatives. The membership of these committees represents around 10% of the total headcount in each location. Their first goal is to raise team members' awareness about climate change and encourage them to help protect the environment by changing their behaviors in or outside of the office through local grassroots initiatives designed to complement those implemented at the corporate level. Second, Thanks to their involvement and various expertise, uh, these committees provide input for a broad range of consultation and help to accelerate. Here are three examples, among others, that will resonate with what Armel shared before. So the Green Force pushed for the replacement of paper cups with ceramic mugs. Now with the Play Green uh, initiative and strategy, we target zero single plastic use in our offices. The Green Force launched a local pilot to enable Wake on Land. Now with Play Green, we'll turn it into a global initiative called Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, which is a great niche, by the way. And the third example, the Green Force organized the first Sustainable Development Week in France and animated Climate Fresk. Now with Play Green, we are globalizing it and looking at an international e-learning training. So, all over the world and at every level of the organization, Ubisoft teams are coming together to act and work responsibly as we strive to make in game a positive lever for change. This incredible commitment is a powerful force of good, and this is a force that supports today's uh, Ubisoft commitment and our future commitments. To conclude, here are a few tips to get you started with your own green committees. Have a look at these resources. Climate Solutions at Work by Project Drawdown. How to develop a green team in your company by Leaders for Climate Action. Or Climate Leadership for Employees, 50 Ways to Drive Sustainability by Planet Groups. Thank you for listening.